Okay, if you're watching this video, it's because you may not be sure about this key skill, which is long division. It's a key skill that's necessary for you to be able to divide with decimals effectively. So, I'm going to talk you through a few examples. Please set your work out extremely neatly and carefully in your assessment book. Um, so, I'm going to put here EG1, so the first example. And I'm going to look at 255 divided by 3. So what's 255 split into three parts, three equal parts? Well, this long division method is a sort of a long bus stop method. So I'm going to draw in my bus stop. Now, it's 255 which is being divided by 3. So it's the number which is being divided inside the bus stop and the number which is being divided by, or the number of groups it's being split into, outside the bus stop. So, what I need to ask myself is how many times does 3 go into this first digit, this 2? Well, it doesn't go in at all. So I can just move on to the next digit. How many times does 3 go into 25? I need to take that as a whole. How many times does 3 go into 25? Well, I know that 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 9 is 27, so it goes in 8 times. Now there's a short method, but I'm going to show you the long method because I think it's more useful when it comes to actually dividing by decimals. So 8 times 3 gives me 24. Again, I'm sticking to one number per square in order to make my work nice and neat. So that, if I take 24 away from 25, I have what's left over. And there's just one left over. Now I'm going to bring down this 5, so this becomes 15. So how many times does 3 go into 15? It goes in 5 times. So my answer to 255 divided by 3 is... 85. Now, any time in this video you can pause it, stop it, you know, make sure you have a good example clearly set out and try to understand it. I'm going to do four examples and then I'm going to set you four questions to do. So that's my first example. Second example. Let's have a look at what might be 1,000 278 divided by 6. 1,278 divided by 6. So I'm going, to, I'm going to create my bus stop. 1,278, that's the number that's being divided. Okay, being divided by 6, or being split into 6 equal groups. So how many times does 6 go into 1? Not at all. How many times does 6 go into 12? Well, it goes in exactly 2 times. And because it goes in exactly 2 times, I don't have anything left over. I can write this here, if I like, showing me nothing left over. Or I could and then bring down the 7. But you should be able to see that I could have just gone straight on to the 7 if I have not have anything left over. So how many times does 6 go into 7? It goes in 1 time. And one lot of six is six, so seven take away six is one. That's what I've got left over. I bring down the eight. How many times does six go into 18? It goes in three times. So my answer to 1,278 divided by six is 213. Right, let's have a look at another example. EG3. Okay. So I'm going to take 371 and divide it by 7. So I'm going to set my bus stop out. And it's 371 in here. And I'm dividing it by 7. So 7 goes into 3, not at all. 7 goes into 37, 
how many times? Well, 2 lots of 7 is 14, 3 lots of 7 is 21, 4 lots of 7 is 28, 5 lots of 7 is 35, 6 lots of 7 is 42. So it goes in 5 times, because that's as close as we can get. So 5 lots of 7 are 35, and I have... If I take them away, take it that take the 35 away from 37. I've got two left over. I'm going to bring down the one. How many times does seven go into 21? Exactly three times. So my answer is 53. One more example. E G four. Okay. So, if I have, let's take 363, and let's divide it this time by a two-digit number, 11. I'm doing this to show you the exact, it works just as well with two-digit numbers here as well as one-digit numbers. So, I've got my bus stop, and it's 363, which is being divided by... 11 divided into 11 groups. How many times does 11 go into 3? It doesn't. How many times does 11 go into 36? It goes in 3 times. 3 lots of 11 are 33. So I take that away. I'm left with 3. 36 take away 33 is 3. I bring down that 3. And I look here. 3 lots of 11 are 33. So it fits in exactly 33 times. So 363 divided by 11 equals 33. So those are your four examples and you can you can go over them or come back to them when you're trying to do your questions. I'm going to set you four questions to get this skill improved uh, and, and actually you need to be perfect on it on this skill. So let's set out a new margin And I'll give you four questions to do. Question one. Let's call this let's call this long division. Because it's a new page, so just to make sure it's clear for you when you're looking back on it. Long division. Q1, I'm just gonna do that. So first question I'd like you to do is two hundred and twenty two divided by three. So take so try to set this out with the bus stop um, and go through that question. Complete it and then you so you're gonna need a bit of space and only once you've done that go on to question two. I'm gonna write all the questions here, but I don't want you to write them all one under another. I want you to write this one, do the question, and then write the next one. So question two will be 296 divided by 8. Question 3. 765 divided by 9. And question 4. 276 divided by 12. Okay. So once you've mastered this skill, you'll be able to progress on to uh, looking at the division with decimals, so go back to the other video where I talk through how to divide with decimals. Thank you.